somebody's coming out here now. What do you think of this fight, Ali? I predict uh, that we will see an upset by Ken Norton winning by a late knockout or probably for sure a decision. And if I'm wrong, we just, I'm, count, I'm saying that because he gave me trouble Here's twice. Norton. In the ring is Ken Norton. Ring record, 32 fights. Has a record of 30 wins, two losses. Take a look across. Here comes George Foreman. You hear the combination of cheers and catcalls. Definitely the favorite here. As far as the crowd is concerned, is Ken Norton. As far as the odds are concerned, it's George Foreman. Both fighters on their feet in the ring. Foreman decked out in red. Ken Norton looking over towards Muhammad Ali and nodding, I'm going to get him. And he, Oscar Bonavena now is trying to get Ali to go into the ring. There's Joe Lewis in the middle of the ring. Former heavyweight champion of the world. Loved by everybody. He got a tremendous ovation when he came into the Paladro here in Caracas earlier. Joe Lewis, that's Oscar Bonavena with him. And now here's Ali. Trying to get up and talk to Bonavena. Bonavena's got the jacket off. They've been into it two or three times already. Sit down here, Ali. We got a fight to broadcast here tonight. Wait till after the fight, then uh, you can go against Bonavena. Oscar Bonavena. Ali, you really want a piece of this man, I guess. Well, I knocked him out once in the 15th round. The fight was kind of close. He says if I didn't knock him out in the 15th, he would have won. And I'm, oh. I don't know. He just makes it. I shouldn't blow my cool like this, but I just ain't going to have no man standing over me threatening me of all people. I'm well, the threat. He don't threaten you me. You certainly proved that on national television one day. You're right. Now, talking about this fight, look at the concentration and the stare job that Foreman is putting on Ken Norton. Norton certainly has plenty of confidence in his own right. Norton on the right-hand side of the screen, George Foreman on the left-hand side. Here we go, round one, the heavyweight championship of the world is at stake. To this point, Norton has thrown the only punch, a light left on taken on the gloves by George Foreman, while left hand over the head of George Foreman. Both fighters exactly the same size. Foreman slightly heavier, about seven or eight pounds heavier. Round one, just underway in Caracas, Venezuela. Foreman showing the concentration. He knows he's got a fight cut out for him because he's in against a real big fella. Foreman starting rather slow, feeling Norton out. Norton, and that won't call it a classic style, but certainly the style of dragging that right foot behind him. Vicious left hook was over the head of the champion. Boxing Kenny. Boxing Kenny. Straight left hand thrown by Foreman, taken on the face, and a right hand to the kidney. That's a punch you've got to watch out. There's a good left hand, the best right that we've seen. Foreman pushes down on the head of Norton and landed a right hand, straight left hand to the face of Ken Norton. Norton hand, trying to jab more with his left hand. Fishing left hand thrown by the champion. Right hand to the kidney thrown by the champ. Both fighters, the best punch is their left hook. There's the right hand again to the kidney of Kenny Norton. Norton takes a light left, throws a right of his own. One minute remaining in round one. Very even first round at this point. Light left hand taken, wild right hand. Another left hand taken on the gloves by Norton. Norton scores with a left hand to the side of Foreman's face. Left hand miss, and left jab in the face of Foreman. Light left on the forehead. Pretty good left hand on the forehead of Ken Norton. Norton with his back up against the ropes. This is where he can't afford to stay. He slips the punch and slides around to his left. Very important type of movement. Norton hanging on with that left hand and tries to throw that wild right hand to the body. Foreman is not a great boxer. He's a great puncher, though. Norton is a good boxer. Nine seconds remaining in this round. The first round. Foreman kind of feeling out Norton. Here we go, round two, the heavyweight championship, Caracas, Venezuela. George Foreman, Ken Norton on your left. Now watch Foreman try to cut off Norton in the corners, but Norton is working the left jab much better as he slips a punch and out of that corner. This is what Norton must do. Long right hand that lands just on the left-hand side of the head of Foreman. Norton tries to jab. Foreman holds those hands up and tries to push. No damage done there. 
Foreman see him trying to cut Norton off on the corners. Kenny Norton has got plenty of boxing experience. 24 rounds with Ali is a master's degree in boxing in any man's school. This is what he can't do. He can't mix it up with Foreman inside. Scheduled for 15, the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, a good, good right hand on the left-hand side of the face of Norton. Norton is a bit stunned as Foreman is teeing off. And it looks like Norton has really been staggered as he went up against the rope. The referee is giving it the count. Yes, he'll have to take the eight count. Okay, seven, eight, and here we go as Foreman comes banging on in the second round. Norton goes down again. A left hand on the side of the head. Norton goes back. He'll have to take another eight count. No, he doesn't. His legs are rubbery as a left hand goes to the side of his head. A right uppercut, a left jab, and a vicious left. Sends Norton crumbling to the canvas for the second time. Norton is in Queersville. He doesn't know where he is. It's up to five, six. I don't know if Norton can make it. It might be all over right here. It's up to nine, ten, and they are they going to continue it or are they going to stop it? It looks like it may be all over, and it is all over. George Foreman retains the heavyweight championship. George Foreman, winner in a second round knockout, wants to bow to everybody. Reminiscent of the days, and certainly in the Olympic Games where George Foreman went around the ring with a flag. Tremendous second round knockout for George Foreman. We're going to get to him and talk to him. Everything Watch the microphone. Hey, George. How about it? Did you think you could do it so early in the fight? I was very fortunate to catch him with some good punches. The man is strong. He's got a good jab, which surprised me. Dick, I asked you not to get excited now. Okay. Champ, the big story has to be Champ, the big story has to be what happened today with the leg. What was that story? Well, God bless me. I've been, my leg is in bad shape. I have to get some rest on it. I couldn't even walk this morning. Tell, tell me, what punch did you actually drop him with, George? George, turn around for television, will you please? We've got certainly pandemonium in the ring here. Got pandemonium. George, what punch was it that you took him out with? I think it was a number of right hands. They weren't real sharp, but they were right on the button. Once I got him hurt, I didn't let him come out of it. Did you really believe that you could take him out? I know the pre-fight, you said you could. Well, I've been punching hard, and I won. I'm proud, okay? Okay, George. Here we go. Watch that. There's the left. And look at that right uppercut. Tremendous right uppercut. Now, here he comes on. Another vicious right hand, and that's the one that did the damage. That left hand put him out to stay. Watch. Norton holds up. There's the straight left hand. Snaps the head to the left. Now, watch. He faints the left and comes across. A good left to the body. There's the right hand that pushes him down. Another left hook that goes, goes over the head of Kenny Norton. The right hand catches him on the side of the head, pushes him away. Now watch this. Bang! That really knocks him in. Get him going the other way. The right hand crosses across, spins his head. Foreman still knows where he is at this point, but his legs are rubbery. Uh, rather, Norton knows where he is, but his legs are rubbery. Foreman comes up with that uppercut. Now watch this one. There's the one that really spins his head. And look at that uppercut. There's the damaging blow. Now the legs go rubbery. Another, another vicious right hand. Two vicious right uppercuts. Here's Muhammad Ali again. Muhammad, Muhammad. They want you on national television again and around the world. How about that big fight coming up? Tell me about I'm that fight. Retire George Foreman. He's too slow. He can't hit me with this stuff. I'm a professional. Turn around and face that camera over there, Ali. They want to hear about you and talk to you around the world. He hit Ken Norton just like he do all his opponents. Caught him early. I mean, he is hard, but if a man can stay out of the way for five rounds, stick him, move, stay out of range, be in good shape, he'll retire George Foreman. This man depends on getting this man in the first one or two rounds. If he don't do that, he's frustrated. Stick him with left jabs and right crosses, tie him up and box him, and you'll retire him. Now, Ali. I know this man is going to whoop George Foreman, and I'm going to whoop him of all places in Africa, in the Congo, where the Lumumba boys are. I'm not a hard puncher. I'm not known for being a hard puncher. I fought many men like Floyd Patterson, Zora Foley, George Fowler, who are stronger than I am. Many I couldn't knock out, Sonny Liston. But I'll tell you this. Boxing ability, speed, 
whooping him on points for the distance if necessary, then I'll whoop him.